Good day, YouTubers. Now, as a content creator here on YouTube, as well as Vimeo On Demand, and more recently Amazon Prime, I receive regular sort of questions on particular subjects. One of them being, when am I gonna get a haircut? But the other one mainly concerns the equipment I use, what camera, software, and so on. So that is the perfect excuse to make a video. First up then is the camera. And until recently, and for all five seasons of Travels by Narrowboat, and all of my Narrowboat stuff on YouTube, I use this little beauty, which is a Panasonic VX870. It was a 4K camcorder, and to be honest, it was absolutely brilliant. Stunning little piece of kit. Bought it two years ago in a special offer from Curry's, and it was £399. And they've now been superseded by uh, the VX990, I think it is. Um, but after the special offer, they went up to 5.99. So got myself a good little bargain there. And as I say, done an astronomical amount of work. Had a has a Leica Dicomar lens on it. I do like Leica. Used to use it all the time with my street photography. Spin the old screen round. Yeah, very nice and retractable hood there. Yeah, superb little camera. But after 35 episodes, it gave up the ghost. It still works perfectly in every way, except the autofocus became very lazy. And no matter how much repair work they tried to do to it, just couldn't sort it out. So I got rid of that and invested in something a bit more tasty which is this, the Canon Legria HF G26. How do they come up with these model names? I really don't know. This is a completely different ballpark altogether. Unlike the Panasonic, it's only 1080p HD, but I never shot in 4K. And 4K hasn't really taken off the way they hoped. Most stuff nowadays is still shot in 1080p. 50 frames per second, 35 megabits per second. Also has this very nice pull out viewfinder, which is very handy for tripod work. This is a professional quality video camera. And I like the lens cover there. Also has a professional grade zoom rocker which makes a huge difference to zooming. And that can actually be programmed as well to work automatically from fully wide to fully zoomed in over a maximum of four minutes, though quite what I uh, need that feature for, I don't know. I'm sure I'll come up with some creative way of using it. Next up, we have the microphone. And this is the one which I've had on both camcorders and has served me proud. It's a Rode uh, video stereo mic, the original version, not the, the newer one. And I have my horribly named dead cat on the top there. This enables me to film in any sort of wind with none of that horrible wind noise. As I say, stereo, so it not only captures what I'm saying and the sound of Aslan's engine but everything around as well which gives you a full panoramic audio spectrum thing. Powered microphone with a 9 volt battery in the top. You can also have a 10 decibel cut and a high low filter as well. And that plugs usually into there. So 
like so. Also, for when I'm doing pieces to camera, I have this lapel mic. It's a powered mic and it is an Audio Technica ATR3350 ATR series. Once again, how do they come up with these names? Do they just throw darts at a board full of letters and say, yep, this is the new model name? And it cost me, it was, it was about 20 pound. Do they still do it? Oh, here we go. 25 pounds. Yeah. And hopefully, as you can hear, it's quite a good microphone. And it's down here, but it's picking me up fine. As a matter of fact, I have to set uh, manual audio level on the video camera um, because auto puts it right to the max and it just gets a bit sort of a bit distorted. The bag I carry everything around in, recently at least, £39 from Amazon, a Low Pro Taiho 150, which is absolutely spot on. It takes the Canon camcorder, even though this is the Panasonic, it takes it no problem. Now the Canon is twice the size and weight of that, but it takes the whole lot, no problem, comfortably in there. And then I have my portable battery charger, spare battery, lapel microphone, lens hood and lens cloth and so on. And then action cam, all kinds of things in here. Whatever that is. A microphone muff thing little dead kittens for the lapel mic and so on and also you've got extra storage two compartments wallet keys even a seven inch tablet can go in there as well now most of my work is hands-free even when i'm going along on aslan but when i do need a tripod for pieces to camera and so on this is what i use nothing special I think it was about £25, probably just as many years ago. Bought it from Argos. It's a Vanguard, whatever that is. Cheap and cheerful. Wobbly. None of this fluid head business going on. But it does the job perfectly. Pure and simple. Well, that covers the recording side of things. But of course... A load of footage is no good unless you can join it all together into a cohesive whole. And for that, we get to editing. And I use just a laptop. It's an HP laptop. A couple of years old. It's got a quad core Intel processor, a stack of memory, can't remember how much, one terabyte drive. Nothing, uh, nothing super powerful. And the editing package is PowerDirector 15 uh, by Cyberlink. Now they've brought out a 16 and a 17 since then, but 15 does me fine. All the bells and whistles that I could possibly need and more, which I never use. And I'm now going to show you how to do a quick bit of editing. And for this, I'm going to edit the actual video that you're watching now. Well, a bit of it anyway, because it takes a fair while. Good day, YouTubers. Now, as a content creator here on YouTube. All right, so I take my clip, drag it down to there. I'll split it, you know, unlink the audio and the video and I'll also zoom in. I like to have about four seconds, so that's 28 to 32, over that sort of distance. So that gives you a good, fine sort of control. So let's... Um, good day, YouTubers, and welcome. No, nope. Takes several takes, you know. Good day, YouTubers. Now... Right, so there's my start. 
So I'm going to fade it in just slightly before. And I'll get rid of that chunk at the beginning. Uh, it's 34, so we want about a second of blank beforehand. So I'll get rid of that. And then I'll fill gap so it goes right back to the beginning. Like so. And then I'm going to add a fade. Because fades look good. Like so. And we'll drag it to about there. I'll give it a little bit more actually. Like so. That should do it. I'll fade the sound in up to the point where I start talking. And we'll drag it back down to zero decibels. And there's our start. Good day, YouTubers. Now, as a content creator here on YouTube, as well as Vimeo On Demand, and more recently Amazon Prime. More camera, software, and so on. So that is the perfect excuse to make a video. It's all about timing this. Wasn't much more on that, no. So I'm gonna fade across with the audio to another recording so I leave a chunk there so I can have a nice cross fade right across there and we'll fade that out at the end but here's the clever bit make a video just check that like that see here's the clever bit because I also recorded using my old Panasonic camera just for a bit of pizzazz, me doing that scene, but from a different angle. So I'm going to insert this video clip. I'll get rid of the audio because I don't need that. Sort the old hair out. Maybe I should get a haircut. So there's a bit of me talking and we're going to make that about, oh, I'd say f four seconds long. Why not? Roughly thereabouts. I'm going to drag that right the way across now. And I'm going to plonk it in when I say about what camera I use. But the other one mainly concerns the equipment I use. Right. Here we go. So I'll plunk it in right by there. But I'm going to put it, I'm going to overwrite it onto there. There we go. But the other one mainly concerns the equipment I use. What camera, software. Timing was a bit out there, so... I'll just drag it along a little bit more, over right, and then pull this one back across to there, and we'll try that. Concerns the equipment I use, what camera, software, and so on. So that is the perfect excuse to make a video. Right, so I want it, where it says perfect excuse, I want that bit shorter, and we'll pull that one back over there. And so on. So that is the perfect excuse to make a video. And that's the start of the very video. Now repeat a hundred times until the entire video is done. I just want to add a quick bit about storage and mainly what I absolutely do not do, which is store anything in the cloud rather I use these little things. I have two of these. One is a complete copy of this one. It's USB powered, so there's no separate power pack. They cost around about 49 pounds, and this one is two terabytes in size. And I keep everything on these. Well, with all that done, now it's time to encode it 
and then upload it to YouTube. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers for now.